Well, this is a great moment to pivot into what OpenAI did with plugins. These came fast and furious this week. And a bunch of folks who had, you know, started verticalized chat GPT based projects, MVPs were like, Oh, maybe my project MVP is now dead. Because Instacart, OpenTable, Shopify, Slack, Zapier, and Zapier, obviously, like if then this, then that is a very wide ranging tool that allows you to connect APIs from a multitude of uh, sources. And what this all lets you do at the end of the day is have chat GPT ping one of these sources, just like an app might do or uh, some custom software might do ping the API and return data. So hey, what tables are open on open table? Maybe Shopify, mm, find me uh, things to buy in this category, etc. And so people have started building little scripts, we used to call these uh, when magic leap was out uh, internet agents. And the concept of a software agent that's existed for a long time, actually, in computer science, I'm sure free will give us some examples of that. But also chat GPT can now use a browser. So that means you can get around the dated nature of the content in the corpus. Somebody did things like, hey, build me a meal plan, book me a reservation for Friday night, in open table source other ingredients and buy it for Saturday night on insta cart and then use something like wolf from alpha to, you know, calculate the calories, etc. 